If we look back to old visions of the future, that is, how people in the 50s or 60s of the last century imagined that the future would look like, it was of course clear to them that we would soon no doubt have flying cars, that we would certainly also have moon bases, and that we would of course soon also have personal humanoid robot helpers. Fast forward more than half a century into the future, to the cool sounding year 2024, and we now actually do live in that future that they imagined. But alas, no moon bases yet, hopefully that will soon change, no flying cars yet as well, that is actually also about to change, and no personal robots yet as well, aside from those round little bastards that get stuck all the time. So it seems that the future that we were promised is a bit of a disappointment. But with so many technological revolutions, we humans have the tendency to vastly overestimate our capabilities in the short run and to vastly underestimate them in the long run. All the previously mentioned things are happening below the surface. Yes, it is true that they are taking longer than anticipated, but the economy and technology simply wasn't there yet to make them sustainably happen half a century ago. So yes, moon bases will happen, as well as flying cars, although they will of course be called air taxis or personal drones. But a revolution that is right now happening as well, that many are not understanding, which is so to speak not on the radar of many people, is the personal robotics revolution. Up until now, there was virtually no option available for a humanoid robot that could help you in any meaningful way with everyday tasks. But this is exactly what Tesla is working on right now. If we remember, it was only three years ago that Tesla first announced that they would be building a humanoid robot called Optimus. The presentation was really hilarious in that a person was dancing around in a tight suit dressed as a robot. They only very briefly showed a non-functioning mock-up of what the final robot was supposed to look like. Naturally, of course, as a consequence, many actually thought that this was kind of a joke. After all, robotics is an immensely complex field, and Tesla really only had expertise up to that point with building cars. They would have to start from scratch, whereas companies like Boston Dynamics were already quite far ahead when it came to building robots that are capable of dynamic and human or animal-like motions. I have to admit that I was also skeptical if Tesla could really pull this off, given their lack of expertise in the field of robotics and given the lack of tangible information in that first Optimus bot presentation apart from a few technical slides detailing the specs of Optimus. One year later then, at Tesla's AI day, they presented the prototype of Optimus and this one could already walk. But it was still looking very shaky and wobbly, not as sophisticated, at least motorically, as the Boston Dynamics robots. However, it still was a huge step up from that first skin suit dancer presentation, that's for sure. They even showed that robot performing tasks, such as sorting stuff in their Fremont factory. But the preview then for the Optimus Gen 1, which would be the first real iteration of the bot, was again a bit bizarre, with the bot not being able to walk and having to be mounted on some sort of stand by a group of three people. Still very awkward and this certainly left many people doubting if Tesla could really put Optimus into production. However then, again a bit more than a year later, in December 2023, Tesla released a video clip of their latest Optimus bot iteration, Gen 2. And this is probably when it clicked, certainly for me and probably for many other technology interested people, that Tesla would actually make this work. The bot looked much more sophisticated than the previous prototypes. It had more degrees of freedom regarding the movement of its head and of its hands, and the walking also seemed much more stable and not so wobbly. It was capable of handling pretty complex tasks, such as sorting eggs, without breaking even a single one. And in one of the latest updates from May this year, the bot was shown actually already performing meaningful tasks in Tesla's factory such as sorting battery cells. 
In the last presentation, at Tesla's shareholder day, Elon Musk said that more and more of these bots will be working in Tesla's factories, taking over increasingly meaningful tasks. I think like next year, my prediction is next year we'll have over a, over a thousand, maybe a few thousand Optimus robots working at Tesla. This will actually also serve as beta testing before releasing the final product. So how does the bot work? Well, the bot employs Tesla's expertise when it comes to full self-driving. All the people who have seen the recent videos of Tesla's FSD 12.4.1 software will know how good the system actually has already become. And Optimus is basically a full self-driving computer hardware in robot form. Eight cameras record the surroundings, leading the data to an FSD computer. This computer then processes all the information and then using the vast store of data that Tesla already has previously recorded with their cars and other Optimus robots, makes a decision. This means the more camera data that Tesla has, the better the robot will become. The Tesla Dojo supercomputer is continuously refining the algorithm based on an ever-increasing amount of data and therefore the Optimus bot will be continuously refined based on constant neural net learning. Very similar to how Tesla's full self-driving is becoming increasingly better with a decreasing amount of interventions necessary until at some point in the coming years, the FSD computer will make less mistakes than a human would. And this is what many people have a hard problem to grasp. Tesla's Optimus will be light years ahead of the competition. Sure, the Boston Dynamics robots look more agile and more human-like in their motions. Yes, that's true. But where can I buy the Boston Dynamics humanoid helper robot? Nowhere. And you probably also won't be able to. Because a true humanoid helper robot needs a highly sophisticated AI that can understand you and that can apply your commands and put them into motion. Tesla has the huge advantage that it has a giant fleet of cars that constantly gathers more and more video data, therefore continuously refining their FSD algorithm. Tesla has a huge AI team that constantly refines their machine learning algorithms. Therefore, employing their huge data set, they have a big head start when it comes to humanoid robots making autonomous decisions because they have the largest amount of video data, by far by orders of magnitude. And in a world where the one with the biggest amount of data wins, in a world where the AI becomes better the more data you have, in that world Tesla is leaps ahead of the competition. That is why the Optimus bot is a huge revolution waiting to happen, one that many people still believe will not be happening. They don't believe it because for many decades it was said that we'll soon have robots and yet nothing happened and so they gave up hope to ever see that day coming. But Tesla is developing a game-changing product which everybody will want to have. Elon said that there will be at least as many humanoid robots as people because everybody will want such a robot. If Tesla can build Optimus for around $10,000 per unit, which seems a realistic estimate, and sell it for 20,000, and Tesla manages to have maybe 10% of the global robot market share, then we're talking about $10 trillion in revenue only from Optimus. And realistically, Tesla will offer the robot for sale in a few years' time, maybe around the 2026 to 2028 timeframe realistically. The potential is huge and Tesla will have the incredible advantage of their FSD dataset and algorithm. And it's also quite telling if you ask me that now after Tesla went into humanoid robotics, now suddenly many other companies come forth with their own humanoid robots. Hmm, interesting. I wonder why. Could it be again the same as back when Tesla came out with viable electric cars and then suddenly everybody started building electric cars? Or back when Tesla were the first to use digital instrument clusters in their Model S and then suddenly every car maker quickly followed? With Optimus, Tesla really kick-started a robotics revolution, one that really might profoundly transform the way we live and work in the future. Imagine the productivity boost from billions of humanoid robots in manufacturing. 
this will be an incredible transformation. And let's not forget Optimus's potential applications in space, for example on the future moon bases, or later even on Mars. This will add another layer of insane to that whole revolution. But many people don't see it coming. They don't believe it will be happening. Because they have given up hope that the future that was once promised to us will be happening. But it is happening right now, yes, there was a delay admittedly. But now we are truly entering the age of humanoid robots. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please like and subscribe, since we will continue putting out lots of videos on these fascinating technological developments. All the best and see you next time.